Hello teachers, here's a quick video on helping to troubleshoot some delays or slowdowns that you might experience with PowerPoints or videos. Now we all know there's certain slow times on our network during the day. At least at our high school, that's during lunch. Uh, other buildings, it's different times. Uh, some teachers also know that they don't have the strongest Wi-Fi connection either. And what's happening for some folks is they're opening items out of their OneDrive they're playing those PowerPoints, but they're just getting slow during those times of the days as well. Now that didn't used to happen. It's partly because you know we're using OneDrive to pull those files up and it's still kind of streaming those in a sense. But I wanna show you how to create certain items in your OneDrive as offline copies. Now, I've already pulled up a list of videos in my OneDrive here. Uh, that would have a hard time caching or streaming directly from OneDrive to my classroom during my very busy internet traffic heavy lunch period. So what I want to point out is that the I next to the file on the far right has some advanced options that of course let me reorganize, rearrange, rename, things like that, but also create an offline copy of this within OneDrive. So when I tap that and then I tap the back button, pay attention to the bottom of the screen as it prepares that file and then confirms that it's ready for offline use. Now, there's a parachute I wanna point out. Uh, it's over here next to the uh, file size, okay? That parachute icon coordinates with the left side of the app with a bigger one and that parachute shows you all of your offline files. Now if I go to the parachute icon and play it from here, I'm not using any internet, so I don't have to worry about slowdowns or delays for my PowerPoints or my videos. So they'll play directly from the panel. Now, I choose this method rather than saving it to say Explorer because this keeps things organized. Also, it's real easy to go back to that eye and then tap Keep Offline and it automatically clears that out of my data. It hasn't deleted it from my OneDrive, it's just taking it out of that parachute tab, which tells me that you know it's not gonna experience any slowdowns or delays. There are very similar features uh, in Dropbox and in Google Drive, and I can say uh, pretty much for a fact that Dropbox uses the same icon, that parachute icon, to indicate that a file has been saved uh, to the device and won't be streaming. So uh, that's one of the quick fixes that you can do in OneDrive and other cloud apps to prevent slowdowns of your PowerPoints, your videos coming up. Um, and I suggest that teachers who know that they've got a sizable PowerPoint uh, with a lot of media or a lot of transitions, save that at the beginning in the morning so that you're ready to use it throughout the day anytime you're ready to go. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for other workflow enhancement videos like this one and also tips on how to use Schoology on your active panel.